Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. If you want to join me on my live stream soon, uh, I'll be streaming every day except for Sunday. Check out the link in my description and in the comments. Good Free Photos Channel, streaming back on that channel on both photography and cryptocurrency. If you want to get all your crypto updates in one place, check out Crypto Daily Updates. That will also be in the comments and the description. So let's get on the topic. I want to talk about why institutional investors could spur a very big bull run fairly easily. Now, you know, in the recap of the last segment, we listed five reasons why institutional investors are not getting into crypto. But the thing is, they don't have to get in all that much. Remember, the top 40 asset managers in the world manage something like $42 trillion worth of assets. That is actually an actual number. $42 trillion of assets. What's the entire crypto market worth? It's worth like $230, $240 billion. One's trillion, one's billion. Now the next difference, people. So that means it, even if the top asset managers allocated 0.5, just 0.5 of their um, assets into crypto, that's like 99.5% into traditional assets, 0.5 into this new asset called crypto, which could actually appreciate a lot. That means they could basically double the market cap of crypto. And remember, even though the crypto market cap's 200 something billion dollars, that doesn't actually mean there's 200 something billion dollars in crypto. If you inject 10, 20 billion dollars all of a sudden into crypto, you could double or triple the market cap because there's not that much liquidity in it. Like 10 or 20 million dollars, a billion dollars, sorry, would wreak havoc in the crypto market cap. If you sell that much, you could bring it down to less than half. If you buy that much, you could go up more than double the uh, overall market cap. So you got to keep that in mind. The asset managers, they control 42 trillion. And think of it this way, the top 10 owners of JP Morgan, even number 10, which is Fidelity Investments, by the way, um, they own $4 billion worth of Fidelity. Now, the biggest, I mean, biggest crypto fund is Grayscale Funds, and they only manage 3 billion in a crypto fund. So this, the, the number 10 investor in JP Morgan, just in JP Morgan, Fidelity has many, many investments, and JP Morgan is only one of them. Uh, the number 10 investor in JP Morgan Fidelity has more than the largest crypto fund. That's where the disparity actually is. That's part of the reason they're not getting into it because if they want to get into it, they want to buy a lot and that would buy the price up. And they don't want to buy the price up because that would cost them a lot of money. But the thing is like crypto is scaling with or without institutional investors. You see um, large countries, uh, not large countries, but third world countries like Argentina, um, Venezuela, uh, you know, Lebanon actually adopting Bitcoin as almost a de facto cryptocurrency. And we want them to adopt, Bit like me, I want them to adopt Bitcoin more than any other cryptocurrency. I think Bitcoin is technically deficient, but I actually, for market purposes, I actually want them to actually adopt Bitcoin over any other cryptocurrency because Bitcoin pulls everyone up, whereas other cryptocurrencies only pull themselves up. So remember that. If you're not cheering for Bitcoin, you're not cheering for the right person right now because I don't really care which cryptocurrency you're interested in. If Bitcoin goes up, it will pull your currency up too. As long as your currency is like in the top 50 or so. If your currency is like number 1,000, maybe, maybe not, but overall it will pull your currency up as well. So just 0.5, half a percent, folks, half a percent um, will actually double the, uh, will like double the Bitcoin market cap if you just add um, the if you just add the numbers up realistically it could 10x the market cap if you all of a sudden pour 200 uh, 200 billion in and that's only that's roughly only 0.5 percent so while you might say oh it's really really risky for asset managers to to actually allocate uh, a lot of money into crypto think about it is it really that risky to put, put like 99.5 percent in traditional assets and just 0.5 percent in this new asset that might appreciate a lot? I don't think so. I mean, we talk about institutional investors all the time coming in. And yeah, we hear about like X million dollars, $300 million, $400 million in Ethereum or something. But that's nothing compared to the entire, like the biggest asset managers. That's nothing even compared to 1% of the biggest asset managers. Like even half a percent is $200 billion from the largest, largest asset managers. So I think at a certain point, uh, when more of these countries actually, when more of these countries actually um, adopt crypto and start using crypto more, some of these asset managers are going to take the leap, and they don't need to take the leap with like 50% or 30% of their portfolio. They just need to take the leap with 1% of their portfolio, and that 1% will take us up, maybe even close to a hundred thousand, because of the illiquidity of the markets. Even that 1% would e would equal more than all the crypto space right now. 
And that much money injection would actually pump it up five or 10 times because of the ill liquidity that we actually just said. So that's why institutional investors could really, really, really pump up crypto. Um, and I think eventually they will. Now, crypto does have to scale a little bit before they actually jump in because they don't have the confidence to jump in. But once they actually have the confidence to jump in, and we're seeing some institutional investors come in via grayscale right now, um, once a lot of them start to jump in, that's when crypto will boom. And that's why I think we'll have another bull run. Now, in the next video, I'll tell you why government institutions might suppress that bull run. But stick around for that other video. Follow me on my other channels and follow me on Twitter. Thank you and have a nice day.